Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and today I have my kind of everyday makeup routine to show you and if you want to see that and how to achieve this very natural look, just keep on watching. I have all my makeup right here in this little bag. It is so cute. Um, I got it from So Addicted. All my stuff came in it. And this is like my new favorite makeup bag because I didn't really have one before. But now that I have one, I'm super excited. Let's get into my makeup. So first I'm gonna put my hair back. Um, I need a hair elastic. Where are they? Oh, they're right here. With the blue one today i have not used this hair elastic in so long <laughs> um but i'm just gonna put my hair back and then we are going to go into my this is kind of like a daily makeup routine um i have been wearing at least when i go out during the day like when i was in la this is what i would do for my makeup and a lot of you asked for it so i was like oh i might as well show because it's very light and still cute you know um yeah so we're just gonna get right into it and i'm just gonna talk to you guys through this we're just gonna like hang out chit chat i'm gonna put my hair back so it's like out of my face. I don't really know how to use these clips, but I see other people using them and it makes me feel like I like know what I'm doing with my makeup, but I don't, so. My sister just texted me twice. Ooh, cute. <laughs> my sister just texted me twice and I don't know why she texted me. Hmm, better the second day. Oh, yum. I made, you guys know my banana bread. You should by now if you don't a few videos ago go watch it and make it so i make a really good vegan gluten-free banana bread guys it's life-changing you eat it and you like seriously can't get enough of it my every single person in the whole world makes it right now my mom makes it like all my friends make it you guys make it so go make it anyway i made it last night for my sister and i left it in her apartment and i can't wait to go over and have some because i'm about to go over to her apartment and film videos with her that's why i'm getting ready right now but i can't really get that much primer out so first i'm going to use this setting spray as a primer because i guess you can use it primer and setting spray i still need to get a new primer and i still need to get a new setting spray yet i have it but I think I want to try the Morphe setting spray because my sister has that one and I've used hers before and it works so well. It's so fine and I like a fine mist. But yeah, so I just prime my face a little. Um, and then we are going to go in with a tinted moisturizer. So I have no clue what shade I am right now in tinted moisturizer. But today I'm using my Glossier. I use, I switch between my Glossier or my Laura Mercier. Whoa, um, that's a lot of A's. And yeah, so I don't know what shade I am for this. So we're just gonna have to like hope for the best. But I like to use a tinted moisturizer because it's very light on your face. Um, hence why it's called the tinted moisturizer. And yeah i'm not really a big foundation girl but my favorite foundation if you want to know i literally don't own it anymore which is weird because it's like one of my favorites my favorite foundation is the born this way by Too faced that one is an og i use that a lot of my sophomore freshman well end of my freshman year kind of like summer going into my sophomore year and my junior year that was my by far favorite foundation in the whole entire world um slaps it's like full coverage it feels good on your face still even though it's like foundation-y um but yeah anyway this glossier tinted moisturizer is really nice because it's so light on your skin and you barely feel like you're wearing anything 
and you can put as little as you want on and still have like that good look like that nice flawless finish look or you can put a lot on and have it be like a more of a coverage thing but i like to put enough on that it kind of gives me like a little bit of that airbrush look because i still am using like concealer and stuff so it helps but yeah um also guys <laughs> i should have said this at the beginning but before you even put on makeup please wash your hands before you touch your face for anything please just wash your hands because everything that's going on, you never know. Even if you're in the comfort of your own home, wash your freaking hands. It's so scary outside right now. And I hope all of you are staying very safe. Please. Because that's all we can do. Also, if you are staying safe, stay home and don't leave your house. Because why risk the chances of getting sick and or getting others sick? When you could just stay home and then this can get better faster you know so that's why i'm staying home and i haven't gotten bored yet which is so surprising i guess because i feel like a lot of people are bored a lot of my friends are like i'm so bored and i'm like i am not bored yet but i think a big reason why i haven't gotten bored yet is because i'm used to being home because my job obviously i work from home so I'm like, I don't know, I'm used to it. I'm very good at keeping myself busy somehow. Um, I don't know how, but I just am. Now I'm going in with my NARS concealer in the shade Medium One Custard because I have some scars from breakouts from my period. I have some scars left. Normally when I get my period, I obviously break out hormonally, which is normal, but then they turn into scars. Then I have them for a few weeks and then they go away. Then it repeats itself and it all happens again, which is so annoying. But my NARS concealer is the best concealer in the whole entire world because that concealer just covers everything up. And when I put my concealer on like spots, I blend it in with my finger just so I can really get like a good coverage blend still. Kind of just like melts the concealer. Sorry if you can hear my washer machine. It's going right now and I don't know why I like started it right before I started filming. That's so like stupid of me to do that. Okay. Cool. Now I'm taking a brush and I'm taking a brush and I'm just gonna dab it over those areas. Okay, and then I'm gonna blend in the concealer that is under my eye. I need to get a new NARS concealer because mine is starting to dry out, although I've only had it for, I think like a few months. It's like starting to dry out, just so annoying. Okay, face is done. Extra blend. And now I am going to go in with my cloud paint. This is by Glossier. It's just the cloud paint for your cheeks in the shade Beam. So I'm gonna put a little bit on my cheeks, like literally a tiny bit. I just want like a sun kissed color like i want like a i want to add some color to my face because clearly look at me right now i have not been in the sun in so long that i just have no no other color really the lighting in here is not a one right now but yeah so i want to add as much color to my face as i can with this because it makes you look lively and after the winter we all need to look lively i'm so sick of the winter love winter i love having seasons don't get me wrong but i'm so ready for it to be summer like you guys know i love the summer but my favorite season i'd have to say is the fall which is weird because i love summer a lot but um yeah i'm just so ready for it to be the summer when you can walk around outside and it be so warm 
and you just have that glow 24 7 oh, i love it summer glow and you're just so like summertime you can go to the beach you can go to a pool you can just be so happy because it's warm out and you're finally not cold anymore so yeah i just add that all over here my cheeks and i put some on my nose just kind of make it a little bit pinky so random but yeah then i'm gonna go in with my powder my setting powder this is the glossier their powder what is it called i forget what it's called the wowder i'm literally looking at it and i was like what is it called um but i use the shade g5 and g7 sorry um yeah now i'm gonna take my little powder brush that comes with the glossier powder and I'm gonna put some powder on my brush and just kind of tap it off, tap it on. And then I'm gonna set all the areas really where I put concealer. Um, but this powder, guys, I swear, I just love this powder. It makes you very, very, like it makes your face look very um, flawless. I don't know. On top of the tinted moisturizer and the concealer it just like makes it very smooth looking which is so nice and obviously we all want like that look so i so wish i could play music right now with you guys because that would just be amazing we can listen to music and do our makeup at the same time that's the one thing about filming these types of videos is that obviously i'm doing like Kind of like a get ready with me. Um, so when I get ready, I like to listen to music, but I can't do that. So, Also, another thing is that my um, mirror, I'm looking down at it. So I feel like I'm like trying to see myself and it's so eh. I like to look straight, but I ordered. Okay, want to know what's really annoying? I ordered a big mirror for this right here i have my like two alex doors on each side i have a clear desk and this little chair that i sit on where i do my makeup and i ordered this big mirror that has like the lights and everything it's like a vanity mirror it didn't come i never got like my money back it said it delivered it never came it i just don't know what to do now because like what do I do? I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes it stinks living alone because I don't have my parents to be like, to help me figure stuff out. So I'm kind of just like, I fend for myself and I'm like, shoot. I'm just going to have to like, take one, like, not do anything about that. Because I don't know what to do. I tried to contact the people, the senders, and they didn't answer. So, I don't know. Now I'm going to go in. I, what was I just doing? Oh, I set my face and I told you guys that. Now I'm going to go in with a blush on top of my other blush. So obviously the cloud paint one that just adds like a color. This blush by NARS has like been my favorite thing lately. It's in the shade Madly. And as you can see, it kind of looks like a bronzer, but it is not a bronzer. It is a blush and it's a beautiful color. It's so, oh my gosh, it makes you look like you were just in the sun but like it adds kind of like a pinky tone i really really like it i think it's so beautiful and so cute yeah look mm. how cute is that i wish you guys could see it a little bit more but it's so cute oh my god <laughs> i'm so weird but yeah cool so i just loaded that on now what should i do Oh, I'll do a little bit of um, bronzer. So going back to my roots, the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. I ordered some actually recently, this from Princess Polly because I like ran out of it and I was like ordering stuff from Princess Polly. And so I was like, oh, look, they have bronzer. And um, I got some. I'm super excited because I haven't used this in a little bit since I've been using NARS lately. And I'm using a new one. You can probably hear my um, laundry, it's done. It was just beeping. But basically, I'm not really doing any sort of contour with this. I'm just gonna 
go in threes on my face which is like a normal thing you do but with bronzer i used to just take it and do like one, one contour with it but today we are not doing a lot we are just doing like a little warmthness and that's all not too too much um let me see if i have any highlighter in here I am always thinking about myself and knowing that I'm going to need this. So I guess today we're going to use the Benefit Dandelion Highlighter. Um, God, it's literally coming out. Yeah, so we're going to use this today for my highlighter. Um, and I'm going to take this little brush and just put it on. Wow, that's a pretty highlighter. Mm, put it on my nose. This area, my lip, kind of like that. Blend it all in, just like a tiny bit, not too, too much. And then we are going to go in with, should I do my brows next? Yeah, I'm just gonna use the Glossier Boy Brow. This one's a clear one. I just like to throw some of this in my brows so they stay in place because I have the craziest brows. Speaking, okay, now that we're on the topic of brows, I have crazy brows. You guys probably know that if you have watched my videos for like a while. They go through phases where they're really thick. They go through phases where they look like a jungle. They go through phases where they're small. They're not good. But lately, I have had, I can't even get over it. I have had the best, look at them, best brows in the whole entire world. I'm not even, well, honestly, not in the whole world. But for me at least they've been so good and it's because of this stuff i brought it just so i could show you guys it because i knew i was gonna get really excited it is the so addicted brow addict eye brow conditioning serum this stuff is on this little brush i'm gonna do that little oh my god it just spilled out um show you guys what the brush looks like it's this little little brush please focus on the little brush little tiny brush and i put it on right before bed like i do all my skincare and stuff i get everything done and the last thing i do is i put this on i just like put it in my brow in my brows where there are areas that are sparse and i swear it has made my eyebrows look so full and i've had such an issue with my eyebrows not being full and them having like a lot of holes which is really annoying um, but this has helped me so much and I've been using it probably for the past like month or so And I've gotten a lot of comments actually lately of people being like wow your brows look good like here and there I'll get that comment. I'm like damn, Thank you, but la that stuff is so I don't know. I love it a lot and so addicted I literally I'm a great I'm, I'm addicted going into my lashes um, I am going to use my mascara. This is just my Lash Addict. So Addicted Lash Addict Mascara. And I am going to put this on. So this is what the brush looks like. I like brushes that look like this that are just like small spoolies. Um, I'm weird, I know. But yeah, I'm gonna just put this on my eyelashes. And yeah. I really like this mascara because it goes on every lash so nicely. It makes them look very, very, very long. Okay, so that was one coat of the mascara on. I'm going to let it dry a little bit and see if I need another coat, which I don't think I do because it literally makes my lashes look so long. And they don't clump. They just look so good. Did something just fall? I just felt so... Oh, yeah. That little thing that I took off of the bronzer. So, as I'm waiting for my eyelashes to dry, I normally, when I put this on, I just do, like... 
I focus on the tips of my eyelashes and then I go through the full thing from the base of my eyelashes to the tip, like normal. Um, and it makes your eyelashes look super full. And back to my brow addict. When I put this on, after you put it on, just wait like one to two minutes for it to dry and then you're like all set to go to bed and stuff. But yeah, just put it like along the shape of your eyebrow, fill in the sparse areas. I focus a lot on the sparse areas since I do have a lot of those. Um, but I also just do the whole entire brow and it makes it look so good, as you can tell. And then I also love, guys, this is my secret tip. I get so many questions on how I make my lips look so full. I use the Lip Addict Volum Volumptuous, Volumptuous Lip Plumper. I have so many of them. This is the original one that I have. It's literally has none. Can you even see that? I don't think you can even see that it has none. Look at that, it has none left. So I have new ones. This is obviously just the clear one. It's a clear gloss, which is great. Can this like focus? This is a clear gloss, which is great. And then I also got this new one. It's pink, which is so cute. And then this one, which is a brownish color. Like it's a pinky brown, it kind of has sparkles in it. This is the best lip plumping lip gloss ever. I have tried so many different glosses that plump your lips and they burn so bad. But this one, I literally wear it 24 seven. Like I wear it all the time. Obviously why mine is gone. And all my friends have used it before and they're all like, that is the best stuff ever. It doesn't burn, but it makes your lips look so juicy. Um, I'm gonna actually put some on right now for you guys. This is just the clear one. I like to use a clear one like daily. And then I like to use the colored ones when I'm going out or something. But you wait a few seconds, it makes your lips look so glossy. And then you wait a few seconds and they like start to like feel minty. It doesn't burn, it feels minty. So that's super nice and what I really like about it. And it also hydrates your lips. It's not like the other ones that dry out your lips. It's so nice. And yeah, so these are my glosses that I like to use. I will have everything in the description so you guys can check out the lip addict stuff or my brow addict or the lash addict or the lash serum just like the brow serum just for your lashes all of the pro all of these products are like my favorite things in the whole entire world i really like them and this is oh so the lip gloss i'm like rushing because my camera is dying but the lip gloss is in the shade 213 but yeah they have really good, trustworthy ingredients in them, and everything by So Addicted is cruelty-free, which is amazing. So if you guys want to check out any of this stuff, just go to the description down below. And my lips, guys, are already plumping up. You can feel it. I love how it doesn't hurt because the ones that hurt and make your lips swell don't look good on my lips for some reason, but this one looks so good. Yeah, I want you guys to check them out. My friends are obsessed. You guys will become obsessed. And let me know when you try out any of these products. As I was saying, let me know when you guys try out these products because they have truly changed my life and my makeup routine. So hopefully they change yours and you guys enjoy them as much as I do. So that is the finished everyday makeup look. It's very natural, very simple. I obviously like to go for like that feeling of not wearing makeup because I just hate that feeling. You guys know that already. But yeah, I'm gonna go in the sun and show you guys it a little bit more. This is what it looks like. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Oh my god, this lighting is not as good as I thought it would be then. Never mind. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you try out any of the So Addicted items. You will literally will become so addicted. I'm not even kidding you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.